Thank you, Doppler. We are in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. Just minutes ago, the school board president of the Socorro School District just finished answering questions about the decision to put SISD's superintendent, Nate Carmen on paid administrative leave. We'll get to those answers in just a moment. But first, here's some background information to get you up to speed. The Socorro Independent School District Board of Trustees made the vote last night. The decision comes weeks after the board decided to accept the Texas Education Agency to take over district operations. And it also comes months after the district revealed it's facing a $33 million budget deficit. As we said, the district's board president just held a news conference moments ago. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis joins us from the SISD headquarters with more. She's live. Brianna. Paul, like you said, the meeting just wrapped up minutes ago when we got a lot of answers to questions we had following that audit and how Superintendent, how Superintendent Carmen was involved. Now, the report says that he was involved in a potential conflict of interest with an architectural firm. Now, during the presentation, auditors explained how it appeared Carmen influenced the vendor selection process. Auditors shared email conversations Carmen had with the firm labeled as ADM Group while being employed at San Benito CISD. They said he assisted the firm with business developments, activities, and even requested for a representative of the group to review his portfolio for submission for superintendent at Socorro ISD. In one conversation after he was selected at SISD, he discussed the possible facilities analysis of gyms and multi-purpose buildings that may be in store sooner than later. Later, a contract was awarded to ADM Group for an amount not to exceed $100,000, but did not go to the board. Now, coming up, I did ask the board president why why he was the only one to abstain from voting. I'll tell you that answer coming up on ABC 7 at 6. But for now, reporting in East El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7. Thank you, Brianna. Don't forget to download the KVI News app to keep receiving breaking news as push alerts. The app is constantly updated with all the changes happening in the borderland. It is free and available on the App Store and on Google Play.